picked up a house plan or two during the pandemic, you're in good company. A specialty stores across the Twin Cities say that business exploded and is still holding strong. WCCO's Aaron Hassanzada digs in to see what it's all about. What is a cactus shop doing in Minnesota? I'm not the first. Whether you're searching for the rarest. So we have a Peruvian apple cactus right here. The most expensive. How much does that run you? That's 800. Or the coolest thing you can find. It's also called mermaid's tail. Scott Adam has a succulent for every occasion here at the Fractal Cactus. He put his phone out and he said, that's my buddy and his cactus. I want a bigger one. He says these plants are downright therapeutic. People needed a, a small win. You know, just buying a plant and taking care of it meant something. This one, it's called Florida Ghost. Perhaps that calming quality is why houseplants and succulents are taking off. You start trying them and say, oh, wow, I got 200 houseplants in my tiny you apartment. You know people with 200 Oh, well, I mean, myself, I have, I want to say that I have over 200 easily. And people will pay. I've seen people spend up to $10,000 on a plant. People sometimes is making decisions like, I'm not going out this Friday, I'm saving up. Plants here start at just $8, but can go up to 800 for something big and bold like this. And we haven't even gotten into plant fluencers yet. I mean, we have a really big following on Instagram. People follow us and like we go live every week to show off new inventory. These are $325. Maya Harris is a full-fledged plant fluencer with more than 25,000 followers clamoring for house plants content. It's insane. But she also co-owns Planty Queens, a shop in Minneapolis, where she meets different types of plant fanatics. I call them the collectors. For them, it's like, I got to catch them all, like Pokemon. More millennials are having plants as children. I try to, you know, post the special stuff that mean a lot to me. Plant enthusiast Hannah Brand works at a nursery by day and plant fluences on the side. When you see a bloom or a new leaf, it's just something that makes you feel good inside. Like, oh my gosh, I grew this plant. It's like infinite knowledge. A blossoming industry. I love my job. Rooted in something simple. It just feels right. Aaron Hassan said up, WCCL 4 News. Many of the plant shop owners tell us a big part of their job is education because some rare or tropical plants can be tough to take care of and they want people to keep them alive.